Hi class, this is me, your teacher, Ms. Howden. All right, so we're gonna be covering what you would call a read aloud today, where I'm gonna break down a big, heavy chunk of text that, let's be honest, you're not gonna read unless I break this down for you. And the reality is I picked something hard and I'm sorry. But it's really cool once you learn how to break it down and how all of this stuff connects to you, to the things that you've seen around you, and to the world around you. It's all very inception -y, I swear. So, let's get started. You'll notice that I'll be kind of looking around uh, while I'm talking to you, and uh, that's either because I'm reading the text, referencing something on the side, or looking at myself, because, you know, we like to do that. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit, and as I'm reading, I'll stop and kind of elaborate on things, or I'll break things down a little more, and yeah, just follow with me. If you have the text available to you, please follow along as I'm reading. Uh, it'll make things easier for you, and it'll help you understand a lot better. And so that'll be available for you under the Read Aloud, Think Aloud section in the website. All right, you ready to go? Cool. Okay, so now a most essential question that we're going to do, which is why do we make art? And so in order to ask that question, you really want to go back all the way to our caveman days and the first art 